Hey, Billy Beck the third here for a Billy Beck the third personal training and performance center located in Weston, South Florida. And today we're going to teach you how to stretch the tendons. More specifically, let's explain what a tendon is. A, if you ever ate a chicken tenderloin and you bit into that rubbery thing that looks kind of gross, that is a tendon. The tendons attach the muscle to the bone. So when we talk about stretching a tendon, we're actually stretching the whole thing. We're stretching the muscle specifically and where the tendon comes along for the ride. So let's focus on the muscles from here on out in the video and let's just start with the calf muscles and the tendon that's very common that everyone knows, the Achilles tendon. So Sylvia Ferrell, two-time world champion super trainer, is going to demonstrate. What you can use a wall or you can use anything. Here we're just using a platform and you're going to keep your knee straight first, good form, and when people stretch, they often make the mistake of bouncing or overstretching the muscle by forcing a stretch. And on a scale of one to 10, you want to make sure you're at about a seven. 10 is about to rip off the bone. A seven is where you're easing into the stretch, you're relaxing. And to relax, you want to breathe deeply. So breathe deeply, control the movement by leaning into the exercise. So go ahead and lean back up still. Now we have different muscles throughout the body and they're affected by just changing the movement slightly. So here we're going to bend the knee and this is going to stretch the muscle that's deeper in the lower leg called the soleus muscle. So now Sill's bending the knee and relaxing into it, breathing deeply, holding the stretch anywhere for 15 to 30 seconds, or as I like to say, about five deep breaths. And this way you can relax into it, let the muscle elongate, and you're not going to force it. Now, one last thing. Ain't, this is called static stretching. Research shows if you do this before your workout, it'll decrease power output and strength. So this, it's still important to stretch, but do it after you work out, not before. But make sure you thoroughly warm up to prevent injury. I'm Billy Beck III, and this has been How to Stretch Your Muscles and Your Tendons.